Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2020 Nissan Murano, we're gonna be taking a look at the Kuat Envy 2.0 platform style bike rack. So the rack that we have here today on the back of our Murano can hold up to a total of two bikes, but if you need to carry more, there's a four bike version available as well. And both size racks are gonna be available in three different colors. There's gonna be gunmetal gray, like we have here today, flat black, as well as metallic black. So it gives you a couple of different options and you can pick whichever one is your favorite or whichever one matches your Murano the best. But with that being said, one of the big questions that we get asked all the time is if you're still gonna be able to have full access to the back of your SUV. And what's nice about this setup is we can actually fold this down out of the way even when we have bikes on it. So we're gonna have a lever here and when you push it down, we're able to lower the rack. We can come around and with it like this, it's gonna give us more than enough room to open up our hatch and get anything we might need in and out of the back of our Nissan. So let's go ahead and take our bike off the rack now so we can have a better look at the rack itself. So you always wanna start here at the back and take the strap off. You simply just push down on that tab can swing that kind of up and out of the way. When we move here to our wheel hook, you want to make sure to have a grip on your bike. That way it doesn't tip over or anything like that when we loosen it up. But the wheel hook, you're just going to push in on that. You're able to pull it up and we can kind of swing it down. That's going to give us more than enough room to be able to easily take our bike off. So whenever we have our bike off, I do suggest taking the wheel hook and kind of closing it back up. And I like to swing it down like this, just helps keep everything organized and clean. Now, something we need to think about is whenever you have the rack on the back of your Nissan, it is going to extend the overall length of it. So just to find out exactly how much, we measure from the bumper to the very edge. Looks like it's gonna be right at 29 inches. So it's not taking up a ton of space, but something you kinda of wanna keep in the back of your mind whenever you're pulling into your garage or maybe even a tight spot. Now this can be folded upright into a stored position. Come back here to the lever, push down on it. And now it sits up nice and tight against the back of our Nissan and really does make it compact. And just by taking a look at it, it looks like down here is going to be the furthest point. So I'll measure from the bumper to it. And like that, it's only going to add about 12 inches. So really shouldn't give you any issues at all when you are ready to pull into your garage or that tight spot. And for those of you that are wondering, the closest point here where our rack is next to our bumper, it's going to be about two inches. So it gives us quite a bit of space. So. I think regardless of what hitch you have on your Murano, you're still gonna be able to fold it up like this. And because of this little extra space here, if your rack were to come loose or anything like that, I really don't see you having to worry about it kind of bouncing around and hitting the bumper or anything like that. So what's really nice too, is this is gonna have a handful of convenient features. Each wheel tray is gonna have an integrated lock. So if you happen to swing by the gas station or maybe get a bite to eat, before or after hitting the trails, you know your bikes are gonna be secure. You're not gonna to have to constantly peek out the window, check on them and make sure no one ran off with them. So there's a store in the wheel tray. And something else that's really cool, once I get this back, is it's going to give us a place to work on our bike. So this arm here, if you flip that open, you're actually able to pull this up Open this up and set our bike in here. And so pretty convenient, actually, if you need to change a tire, tighten up your chain, do anything like that, it's gonna give us a place to work and make life a little bit easier. And once you're done, close it up, and it just pops right back into place. So the rack's gonna work with the two inch by two inch receiver tube opening like we have here today on our Murano. And it's also gonna come included with a locking hitch pin. So really convenient. You know it's going to be secured to the back of your nissan now if you kind of move out at the end here we're going to have a knob 
And when you tighten this down, what it's gonna do is eliminate any slop or play in the connection point where it goes into the hitch. So it's gonna provide our bikes with a little more of a smooth ride and keep everything nice and quiet inside of our Nissan. So give you an example, say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is gonna move with our Murano and not on its own. So at the end of the day, rack you really can't go wrong with. These things are very nice. And honestly, I think it looks awesome on the back of the Murano, especially for those of you that ride a lot and don't wanna to have to deal with taking your bike rack off and putting it back on. This is super easy to live with, very functional. You can flip it down out of the way easily. Don't take up a ton of spot space. And overall, it's just gonna work out real well. And if you're anything like me, you wanna see the product you're interested in actually in action. So let's go ahead and load this up with some bikes, take it out on the test course and see how it performs. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Kuat MV 2.0 platform style bike rack on our 2020 Nissan Murano.